Hello. Today we're going to some maintenance on um, some plate holders. They're a bit grubby, they've had a bit of work done on them, which you'll see in a previous video or the next video. I don't know which way around this is going to come out. Um, but we're going we're gonna to clean them down and get all the muck and some of the chemicals off the plate holder. We're going to um, make it smooth we're going to we're going to get all the little bits and big pieces off that just aren't the sticky bits the bits that are stopping it working efficiently we're going to take those off uh by you by a trusted method i've used for years um and then we're going to french polish we're going to put some shine some polish back onto the plate holders the reason for that is then it'll slide past the velvet ribbon, the, the light seal. It'll slide past that very easily. Easily, It'll be a pleasure to use, it'll be a pleasure to work. If you don't do this sort of maintenance, then you really should give me a call. You could come and do a workshop with me, we can go through it. And if you know more than me, you can give me some ideas. But the idea is to make it as the, the, the camera as as slick and as efficient to use as possible. So the cleaning is important. So uh, we've got a few bits and pieces here. We've got some polish, we've got some steel wool, uh, gloves, some cloths that are gonna get covered in dirt. And obviously we've got a cup of tea. So let's get on with this thing and let's get it, um, let's get it un underway. Uh, museum uh, reviver, uh, furniture reviver, uh, whatever you want to call it. Tried and tested and trusted. Basically, it cleans all the muck off. And so, the last thing I did was I put some sealer on there, then I rubbed it all down with 400 grit sandpaper. And now, I'm, before I put any polish onto it, I want to give the thing a clean because it's incredibly grubby. I know it's a scientific instrument, it's a, it's a, it's a camera. It's also, to me, it's a bit of woodwork. It's a piece of um, history. It's a bit of furniture. And can you, oh, sorry if you can't see, I'll do it like that, sorry, try to set the camera up and then I'll move, sorry. Um, and I'm not trying to make this thing look new, I'm trying to clean muck off. So on the brass here, look, I'll do it pretty equal both sides, uh, and that's it, let's just give it a good rub around. What this will do, so this is a method that I've uh, sort of worked out and worked on over the years. Don't clean the piece of furniture first. Do the work on the piece of furniture. As you're cleaning it, the muck, see that spot of muck there, look how dark it is. The muck off other parts goes onto the new and darkens the new bit of shade as well which is great because what that does is it makes it blend in more and looks, look less obvious that it's been replaced. Have I done around here? Yes I have. Have I done this side? No I haven't. Not worried about it being on its back. Now there's a horrible squidgy thing in the middle of there and it's gone. There you go. So this, you know, camera with its chemicals uh, in the dark room, these things need TLC. They need, look at that, look at that. They need a bit of um, attention to keep them in good condition. So uh, if you've got any camera parts you want, sort it out, get in touch. Um, I love working on cameras now, and uh, I can go anywhere with the grain. This is very fine, very, very fine wobble, four zero wobble. That's about it, I've done the top. So look, that's, that, I like that like that. It looks like it's been 
handled, it looks like it's been used. Right, so when you've done all that and you're happy, I'm just going to do that number in there a bit more. Look at that, that's flipping. Oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Right, cloth. Time to start removing all of that cleaner. Not just removing it from there. You open this up and look at it, it's gone all the way inside there. So wipe that down and then get onto these little rebates here. Get the muck out. There we go. I can even open the hinge. Can you see the hinge there? I can even open the hinge and do just inside the hinge to make sure that that's dry and do the opposite side. So clean this side off. I don't think Jill will recognise these when she gets it back. Right, next bit. And just remember, I'm, I'm on a mucky bit of paper, but what I will do in a second is I will change this cloth. There you go. Clean bit of paper. Clean piece of cloth. The excess sort of comes to the, the forefront. It's sort of um, it goes wet in sort of patches, so it's quite easy to spot. Right, double check this. The muck. I just saw that muck is the blackout material. Right, and then the last bit is turn those off. Make sure it's off the glass. The last bit is to clean inside here and there. And then open it, and you can see this wet rim all the way around. So I'll start in the hinge area and go up here, work my way around, turn in the cloth. That goes into there. All this is going to do is help seal this bit of wood. Uh, not seal it together but just seal it and protect it a bit more. So I'm not worried about that. It's not got inside this little tiny moulding here. It is beautiful when you look inside here. Let me see if I can show you. Look at this tiny little moulding here that fits inside this little tiny groove over here. So when it's closed up it's just... Right, that's it. Right. I'll turn you off. I've got one more to do and then the original and then we'll have a look at it. I'm going to open that back up. See where it's gone again. Put that to dry. I've just given these a quick coat of French polish, a quick wipe over. So this is the uh, this is the third coat. Everybody always gets a bit. How many coats do you give it? Oh, blimey. Don't ask that. You do it till it's right. Right, by the time you've done the third one, the first one's gone off. So I'm just going to do it, turn it around, do it a different way. So this is really just to get a sealer on it, to seal it, and get it a bit of a shine. 
that needs another one and I've just stopped myself from doing too much it's quite bouncy because of the spring oh a stall there quite bouncy because of the spring underneath go back to this one no let's do this one again looking pretty good if you want to fall out that's fine right I'm just going to go this way now just going to go like that it'll give me a start on that edge it'll be finished on the other new edge that's not Was a light set up so that I can see what's going on um, in the reflection. Seeing what's going on is important. That's no good. I'll do that one again. It's not bad, but it's not good enough. this one again. That's better. Looking back, I'm going to do the same to this one. Slow it down a bit. That's pretty good. Pretty good. And you. That's not bad. Stop. There's a mark in the middle of that one where that grey patch was. Do you remember that? A few minutes ago and I said, oh, there's a patch in the middle of there. It's gone. It's there's some evidence of it still and actually it's it's going it's nearly gone so it must be in the polish back to number one Finishing now. That's it. No, that's fine. That's fine. Stop it. I should stop now, but I always think you can just improve and, and sometimes you can leave a floor that can be wiped over and tidied up just in one more coat and when that happens, which has just happened at the end of that one, it's quite a nice feeling. This is the original. There you go. How did they look for you? They look shiny. There you go. That's what I'm seeing. There's some stuff going on with that one. 
I haven't, I haven't cleaned all that off. Um, they're not really here to be cleaned, so it's an extra bit. But look at the shine on those now. They've, uh, they're pretty good. Great, I feel happy about those now. Right, try them all in the camera.